Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, in this little musical skulls room, in the catacombs uh, under the library in Venice. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Um, and we are going to try and figure out how to use these skulls to get through this door in just a second. But first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. And um, if you can hear a bit of a whirring sound in the background, um, I'm sorry, it's, I've got a, a fan, it's really hot um, at the moment in the UK, so to avoid melting, um, I need a bit of a fan on, so if it picks it up because there's not really any game audio on this game, then I do apologise. Um, so here we go, we've got these skulls, and I've been trying to figure out what we do with them. It definitely relates to this Grail diary. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five. So five notes. I'm not sure why it ha never has more than six different notes. One, two, three, four, five. There's not more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Unless in terms of it means in terms of these so maybe a, a certain skull per note rather than per actual note on here I don't if that but then how do we know which skull is which uh, I have no idea <laughs> so it seems to start with this one and then it goes up to here and then back down but then it goes, okay, so what if we try numbering the skulls? If we say this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if it goes one, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go one, four, six, four, one. One, four, six, four, one. But then how do we know which is one? <laughs> Alright, let's try this. One. Two, three, four. So let's try four. Six. Four. And then one. No. <sighs> okay. That's definitely right, isn't it? One, four, six, four, one. One, four, six, four, one. Huh. Um, unless this is one. I'm really confused. <laughs> Alright, let's try this being one. So one, two, three, four. Six, four, don't use that one, come on Indy, one, let's see if that does anything, yes, it's done it, okay, um, so that must have been it, you must have had to do one, one, four, six, four, one, but it's one starts down this end and this must be six, um, that's a bit of an awkward puzzle, I'll be honest. I don't really get that, but whatever. Um, we're through. <laughs> let's, let's go through the doorway. Oh, more mazes. <laughs> Just when you think the mazes are done. The music's back for this one as well. Um, oh, we can't go to the right. It looked like we could. We're going down some stairs. Oh, oh. Okay. We're going down now. Down into the basement. Well, we're already in some sort of basement, aren't we? Let's go up. Uh, we'll try going to the top. Right, so it's looping round to the right here. Uh, let's just keep going and see where we get to. Dead end, brilliant. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try going down. Uh... It's actually pretty good that there's music for you guys, probably, because you can't hear the fan. Um, 
or you might just be able to make it out but it's probably easier for you guys to listen to um, right this way okay let's try going up hopefully not a dead end this way yep of course it's another dead end <laughs> I mean, we're good at finding the dead ends. I mean, I, I'm sure there's some sort of skill involved with that actually hitting constant dead ends. Maybe that could be my... Oh, God, there's lots of ways here. Maybe that could be my personal skill, finding the dead ends in a maze. <laughs> sure, most people wouldn't find that as easy as me. Um, okay, we can't go that way. I actually really like the music down here. I can't remember if it's the same music as in the movie for the catacombs, but I mean the catacombs are not this maze-like, I don't seem to remember. God, this is very, very big, this area here, isn't it? I'm guessing we've got to get all the way over to the right side of the screen. That's probably where we'll find an exit, but who knows? down. Okay, let's go this way. Aha! What's this? Yes! Okay, we found some sort of... Oh, this is the casket room. This is the room where we were in, wasn't it? And this is where the door is. Yes! Okay, so we've made it into here finally. I see. Um, What do we have in here? Anything good? What's this? Is that some sort of puddles or something? Uh, there's the casket. Let's, um, can we look at it? Let's look at the casket. This looks like the casket of the lost knight. Ah, right. Can we use the grail diary here? Right, he doesn't want to use it particularly now. Um, can we open it up? Let's try that. Oh, we can. It's not locked or anything. Wow! Uh, what's in it? <gasps> wow! Oh, cool. The shield is the second marker Donovan spoke of. Let's see. It mentions the ancient city of Alexandretta. Alexandretta? Today, the city of Iskenderun is built on its ruins. We'll find the grail near there. Ah, can we look at that again? It made a cool sound, didn't it? I love that sound. Okay, so we know where we're going to now then. We have to go to Iskenderun. I, I don't know how they say it. On the Mediterranean coast. Okay. Cool. So, can we get out this way? I'm guessing we have to leave. Can we open this? I guess it's locked. Oh no, we need a key, don't we? Oh, we ha Okay, apparently you can just open it from this side then. Um, okay, so this takes us back. Yeah, that takes us back into the tunnels. So, I guess now we finally leave through this manhole cover, like I said in the movie. Um, Right, let's go. I think we get ambushed up here if I remember the movie right. Dr. Jones, I've been looking all over for you. What's that noise? Indy! Marcus, why is he wet? I found out where your father is. He's being held captive in the Brunwald Castle on the Austrian-German border. Great! And I found where the Grail is. It's in Iskenderun. Of course, Iskenderun. Yeah, of course, I was going to suggest that anyway. Uh, Marcus, why are you all wet? <laughs> it's back to the beginning, isn't it? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> okay, I'll rescue Dad. You meet me in Iskenderun. I can't remember if that's how you say it. I don't remember the name. No trouble. I'll be off now. See you later, Marcus. Uh, uh, where is Iskenderun? <laughs> oh, cool, look! Ooh! I'll go scout around. Alright, I'll stay in the car. I'll come back in a few minutes. 
Interesting. Uh, can we? We can walk here. Uh, I'm going to save quickly here. If I can. Uh, it doesn't look like I can, actually. So we might have to save later on. Who is that? Hello. And who might you be? Uh, Lord Robert McFalfa. I'm here to inspect the tapestries. Are you the one with relatives in town? Never mind that. Who's in charge here? Never mind that. Who's in charge here? If you do not have an appointment, you will have to leave. No one is admitted without special clearance. Then allow me to give you some clearance. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, should we have done that? Let me, I think, hang on. Let's see if I can set, yeah, I can save here, okay. Right, I just want to save just in case. I'll call it six mid. You can see all the very interesting names I give all my <laughs> episodes. <laughs> just in case we hit any dead ends or anything. Oh, meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle, what the hell? Sir, you sent for me? Yes, I want you to protect that priceless painting we just acquired. Priceless? But it's just a painting of an old cup. Silence! The Fuhrer is very interested in it. Do you dare to question the Fuhrer's judgment? No, sir. Then leave me and return to your post. Yes, sir. Colonel Vogel. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? There's a... Oh. Oh, God. More mazes. Okay. Uh, oh, where'd that guy go? I wonder where Elsa went. Maybe she was captured. What, was that lightning? Yeah, it is. Flipping out. It's really loud, the thunder, isn't it? <laughs> God, let's get back inside. <laughs> oh, no. There's loads of doorways and tunnels and things. Ooh, what's this room? Hello? Anybody here? This rug looks highly suspicious, I must say. This looks like there's definitely some sort of trap door underneath it. Um, right, let's look through this door, shall we? Let's open the door. Cool. Oh, okay, do we literally... What was that up there? Oh god, are there people in here? Oh man, right, let's try going this way. What the hell? There's a door here. Ah, is this where we need to go? This looks interesting. It looks kind of ratty. Dad wouldn't like it. Yeah, but it's got the sign on it. Let's try looking in the Grail Diary, shall we? Okay, there's nothing that he wants to look at exactly. Uh, okay. Hmm. Can we pull this down or something? pick it up maybe I don't want it and there's nothing behind it oh, okay there's nothing behind it I was hoping there might be something behind it what's this way oh, I was what the hell oh god this place is really confusing hopefully we don't run into any of those patrol people or whatever I wonder if we have to fight people and stuff I'm hoping not because I was really rubbish at that fighting minigame I don't know it's a big a lot of these rooms are empty. Why are all these rooms empty? What's the point of having like a massive castle like this if it's all empty? And yes, I know the history of the castle. Um, okay. Oh god, there's so many rooms. Uh oh, who's this? <gasps> Hello, hey, my good friend. Uh, what are you doing here? Me here, Shay. Why are any of us put here in this life? Soldier, you are drunk on duty. An interesting question, what do you think? I didn't expect to find a philosopher here. Soldier, you are drunk on duty. I'll hit, I'll show you who's drunk. Oh no. How do we fight again? I've forgotten. Uh, God, I've forgotten. The fighting controls. Nazi guard, damn. How do, how do we fight again? I've forgotten what the buttons were. <laughs> I 
Okay, we should be able to beat this guy up, right? I mean, saying that, I don't seem to actually be able to punch. I thought the controls were like, the but the, what the hell? <laughs> Why am I so rubbish? Right, so that, I know how to walk, but I, I don't seem to actually be able to punch, weirdly. Maybe we're not supposed to punch it, him or something. Can we like back out of this room so we don't have to fight him? Is that a thing? Let's try it. No, we can't. What the hell? What the hell are we supposed to do here? I don't know if it's like bugged or something. Like I'm, I'm stuck. I can't actually move. Oh, here we go. We're moving again. <laughs> I honestly do not know how to fight. It would help if I knew what I was doing, wouldn't it? <sighs> Why can't I remember the controls? If I get close, will it... Oh, there we go. Take that. Oh, you have to get close enough to punch. I see. Oh, that was easy. I mean, he was drunk, but that was pretty easy, wasn't it? I have his stein... Right, let's have a look at that, whatever that is. It's empty. Is a stein a bottle? Can we open this window? The window hasn't been opened in centuries, I can't budge it. Okay, do we have something that can maybe budge it? Possibly not. Um, okay. So, that guy's been beaten up, which is kind of handy for us, actually. But I'm hoping I don't get into any more fights because that probably won't go as well. Because I imagine if there's any more guards, they're not going to be drunk on the job like that particular fella. So let's see what's in. Ooh, a kitchen. A spigot. Oh, I wonder if we can fill up the stein. Assuming that's what a stein is. No, it is. I want to use the stein with the spigot. Ooh, I can. Nice. So now let's look at that. It's full of ale. Cool. I don't know if we need to do that, but... Apparently we can. Uh, what else do we have here? Nothing of note on the shelves. I guess Indy's not very hungry. There's like some sort of animal on a spit here. Roast boar. Can we do anything with that? It's the biggest roast boar I've ever seen. It would take a long time to eat it. Can we maybe pick a bit of it? It's too hot. Right, there's the hot coals here. Maybe we can put out the hot coals. Is there any way we can... Maybe if we pour the ale on it. Or is that going to cause like a massive fire? <laughs> Let's try it. Although this, this could go horribly wrong. Pouring alcohol on a fire. Holy crap. It did something. Uh, now there's just a whole bunch of smoke. Steam. Ouch. Okay, did I mean to make steam? <laughs> oh. Cool, so can we take the boar now? I feel like maybe we want to get some more ale in this thing. Cool. Okay, we've got some more ale. Can never have enough of that. Um, right, so can we take some of this roast boar now as well? We can oh, we can take the whole thing apparently. <laughs> We've taken the whole roast boar. Can we pick up some of these coals as well? No, you can't pick that up. Okay, interesting. Um, let's leave this room then. So we've got some boar, we've got some ale. What's in here? Uh, there's another room. I'm hoping there's not somebody in here. No, there isn't. Uh, what's the deal with this window? You sort of stopped and looked looked out of it. I don't. Is that something we can do? It's a stormy night out there. Indeed it is, Indy. Indeed it is. Um, I think we will call it an episode there. Uh, we'll leave it there for this one.
I don't know whether we made progress or not. We almost set the entire kitchen on fire by pouring ale onto some hot coals. Um, and we've got some roast spore and we've got some ale. And we knocked out a drunk soldier as well. Um, and, of course, we got out the catacombs and found the location of the next night. So, all in all, pretty good episode, I'd say. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. So, as always, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Um, it really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.